Hello, welcome to another Tech Tips and Tricks show. Here on this channel, we're going to be teaching you all kinds of tech, tech tips and tricks. And uh, today, we're going to take a look at the XSplit broadcaster uh, that we use to uh, broadcast live shows to multiple platforms. Basically, you can use it to basically live stream to YouTube, Twitch, basically Facebook Live if you really want to. So I've already set my whole thing up here and let's take a look. We got my website up here. If we look at, uh, at the screen over here, you can actually have a look at my, uh, my website up here and you have my logo up here. That's actually from my other channel. And I got uh, a couple of slideshow pictures in the background here. And I got a timer here to when my live stream could start, right? So, uh, I don't know, I just wanted to uh, show you this whole thing here on how to set it up, how to get things displayed in there, how to get them out. You see that? How I'm disappearing, all that stuff, you know? So that way uh, you have a clean show just like this, right? So let's take a look. I'll probably have a little bit of a lengthy video of this whole spiel, but. I just want to go through everything in details on uh, how we set it, how, how we set it up, right? So I'm just going to go to the uh, second uh, page here, probably. But this program is called, like I said, XSplit Broadcaster. You can download it off of Google for free, and you can either use the free version or get the paid version. The paid version obviously has a few more things you can do with it. But let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and go on this one. So how you add a uh, video, uh, like a da uh, almost a dash cam, but uh, I, what I meant to say is webcam. You go ahead and click on add over here. It's very straightforward like that. Okay, no, that's not big, you know, not full size screen. So it's fairly easy to just kind of drag it like that. And some instances, if you for the first time add it in here, it would only go up to like a three quarter of a screen. So what you do is uh, right click on the screen, click on cam over here, go under configure, go under output, and you set this to the maximum size that you have. Because default, it's only set at that. So I'll just go ahead and give you guys a show on what I was talking about. So if I have it as default it would only go up to there so you still have this black screen here right and so I do want to have it as full screen so then I go make sure that I select it under the highest possible setting then it kind of makes it more like that right so then I can have it as a full screen I can just drag it right like that and it's full screen right Yep, that's right. So actually, it's not 100% full screen, but very close. From what it looks like, it's very, very close, 100%. So, and then you can also adjust the color. Let's say this color is a little bit dark right now, so we can make that a little bit more lighter. You see that? And then if you want to add a picture, or let's say for instance my logo. I can basically go in here and this is for my other channel of course so then I just drag it into the corner up there and uh, I can resize it just like that and if I want to uh, let's say add a URL all I gotta do is click on the add go under other and have the web page URL just like that go ahead and get my URL copy that basically paste it in there and there we go and it will bring up my uh, website and uh, now you see it's like a little bit overlay so I can't really like make it too much smaller so if you want to have it at a custom layout you can go under uh, under layout what you do is right click on the screen that you want to uh, choose and just select to keep the aspect ratio and select the enhance resize and then you can basically drag it and make it the size you want right 
and then I can go ahead and do that and you can see the URL is live you can actually browse around in here you know and do whatever you would like to do but anyways let's not make this too boring and you can also add the live chat into here now you see this option will not be in there if you haven't uh, already installed it the way you get uh, more sources is you click under here get more sources and it will load up the this page right here and you can see I have installed this add-on option right here and that's why it will give you that it's easy to uninstall right there and uh, then you'll have that option in here I'm currently not live so it won't show anything so that brings up a box like that obviously it ain't gonna show anything but in order for that to work you right click on it and you go under here and you authorize it and then you select the event that you want to uh, have the chats come in then chats will start coming in here I have also gotten a other extension here that's for slideshows images slideshows as you can see right here and that will allow me to add multiple pictures at the same time and have a little bit of a slideshow so what I did is I went in here and uh, grab just a bunch of pictures here uh, okay this doesn't want to work now for some odd reason and let me go under yeah I was in here before oh that's I didn't click slideshow that's why <laughs> I went under media file sorry about that but yeah you click under other and then go image slideshow and then you go ahead and add and then we can go ahead and add the pictures that we would like select all and then just close it and you can resize it of course the way you like it yep I'm just gonna resize that a little bit and put it aside there so now you'll see I have the uh, slideshow going on there and for most important thing some of you might be wondering how you get the uh, timer in here let's say I want to start this before you know before uh, the live show actually goes on right so then the way you do it is you have to download this app called SNAZ you can get it for free off the internet I might have a link for it here underneath the video as well this is what it looks like you can see the website right here you just click on download and install it and I'm going to show you how to work this so right now I have the timer as nine minutes you go ahead and click whatever you like let's make it ten minutes and you just copy and paste it to the clipboard and it will have it saved right here this is where that file will be saved at so what you need to do is uh, go ahead and click on add again and you want to add a text okay and now you want to enable the uh, custom script and go ahead and click under edit and then you want to go under template here you want to go choose from a local text form from a, a local file then it opens up this and you click right there where the three buttons are then it allows you to open it up and remember it was in this file right here where it says text file you want to click on that and hit the update button and click OK so because it's not running right now it's just gonna show that right now uh, it's not really supposed to do that but uh, let's get this added here let's go ahead and open this up here and let's start see now it's doing the time thing let's stop that now it's not showing anything see that's how you get the uh, timer in there so if you want to do a live show and just start this uh, so that way people get notified before you actually do the live show that gives people the chance to tune into your live show that's how you get the timer in there and once you're ready to go live then you can just hit the either the pause or you can hit stop and if you hit stop the screen will disappear right and I recommend usually muting this right here 
if you're going to do a live show that way they won't hear what's going on in the background right but anyways that's how you set up this whole thing and if you ever want to get rid of a particular screen in here all you got to do is let's say I want to get rid of the images there I just click right there or I want to get rid of the live chat there whatever I want to get rid of I can do it very simply just by doing that or if I want to get back in there just simply click on it and it's back in there and you can even play a uh, video file in here if you like let's just quickly grab me a video file here uh, which one are we gonna grab I think I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it. that to be playing there too much but uh, yeah so you can actually have like let's say you might want to have an intro or an outro or something like that playing you can even make it full size and if you want to play it before your actual live stream starts all you got to do is uh, right click on it and uh, well you got obviously have it selected just quickly right click on it and play you're good to go right and as soon as you're done you just just select it and you're good to go so I hope that was helpful to you guys uh, if you're wondering what kind of program I use to uh, uh, screen capture this footage I use this program right here it's called live screen capturing and it's provided by this program right here when I bought it uh, it comes with the uh, screen capturing program but you can also use this one right here that's a free version it's called ice cream screen recorder and that one will record your screen as well but I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial on how to set everything up so I'm just going to show you here how this transacts transitions from one screen to another like right here I have it under uh, under screen 2 right now you see how that did that it has like a like a effect to it and you can set that up under this option right here you can even have it clockwards you see that and that's pretty cool I like this program very much so I hope you guys enjoyed it so we'll see you on the next one this is Rudy and we'll have uh, another show pretty soon I hope hope you enjoyed it